Welcome to this week's Eternal Monday, where Toxtricity from Obsidian Flames is going to take on Hisuian Zoric V-Star from Astral. For, no, from Lost Origin. Ah, uh, not Astral. Uh, so these are both decks that they're, these are first drafts of these decks for us. Um, I have yet to play this list. If you are on the Discord and if you're in the Eternal channel, uh, you'll know that I was talking about this deck like a month ago now. So yes, we talked about this stuff pretty far in advance before we actually build and do stuff. Uh, this is, I think, exactly the same list I shared on the Discord. Uh, that I was looking about. This is Toxtricity. Toxtricity, its main shtick is Loud Mix. Loud Mix is an attack that does 50 plus damage. This deck does 30 more damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. Now, it does specifically state bench, so the active Toxtricity is not going to count for that. But we have some cool things that can get us there. So the biggest partner for this deck is this Kecleon. Kecleon has a Poke body that has the effect, if Kecleon, so if this Pokemon, has any React Energy cards attached to it, its type is Grass, Fire, Water, Lightning, Psychic, and Fighting type. So right there you have six types off of this one Pokemon, so long as you have React Energy attached to it. So you have React Energy attached, now suddenly we have six types of Pokemon in play, uh, just, without the, just with that Energy attachment. So ideally turn one, you're going to get Guzmahala, you're going to... Uh, Get your get your energy out and start doing some crazy stuff. Additionally, we have a couple of other ways to get a couple extra types in play. So this Meowth is a Delta species that is both metal and darkness types. So it adds another two types. And we have a Fairy Mr. Mime our, as our bench barrier Pokemon, adding in yet another type. So we have six, seven, eight, nine types off of these three Pokemon alone. And finally, some cool things that this deck can do. We have a Persian that has the, uh, the Poke Power Prowl that says once during your turn, when you play Persian from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for any cards. This is a computer search on evolution, which is a pretty nifty effect. And finally, we're often going to be attacking with Double Rainbow Energy. Double Rainbow Energy is going to be a single attachment that allows us to attack with Loud Mix immediately. The only downside here is it will reduce our damage by 10, and that can sometimes be relevant in certain matchups. Alternatively, if we have the combo, we can use Guzma and Hala to grab a uh, Speed Lightning Energy and Thunder Mountain Prism Star. Thunder Mountain Prism Star says the attacks of Lightning Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's, cost one Lightning Energy left, or less rather, which means Toxtricity can now suddenly attack for just a single energy, which is pretty decent. That could be that Speed Lightning Energy. In a pinch, it could even be a React energy. So that is the basics of Toxtricity. I'll let my opponent here describe their deck. Here's Sue and Zorak Vistar. Yeah, so this deck isn't too dissimilar from its standard counterpart. Of course, we're using Hisu and Zorak Vistar. It has Ticking Curse. It does 50 damage times the amount of each of your Pokemon that has any damage countered on it. It does include itself. Um, we are colorless, so we're not hitting any weaknesses, pretty much. Um, and then our Vistar power is Phantom Star. During our turn, we can discard a hand and draw seven. So basically, it's a research on an ability. Mm -hmm. um, to try and get damage into play, we have Gengar from Lost Origin uh, with the no Nether World Gate ability that says once during your turn if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you can put on your bench and put three damage counters on it. So obviously that's immediate 50 damage for each one you have on your bench that you put that way. Additionally, we are running Dodrio from 1 to 51 that has the Zooming Draw ability that says once during your turn you can put a damage counter on this Pokemon, and if you do, you draw a card. So obviously that's going to help accelerate the damage a little bit more that way. Uh, additionally, there are some cards in this deck that don't have the ability to put damage on themselves, like Zoroark itself. So we're going to be using Unknown P, which has the Poke Power Put. That says once during your turn, if Unknown P is on your bench, you may put one damage counter on one of your Pokemon, excluding any unknown. So basically it's going to help us to accelerate more damage on the Dodrio if we'd like to attack with it, because it does have an attack that does more damage for each damage counter on it. Put it on Zorak to accelerate damage a little higher than any other Pokemon in play that might want damage on it, like Lapras or whatever else we put down. Um, now there is not a whole lot of bench space after our Dodrios, Unknown Peas, and Gengars. So we are running Skyfield, which says each player can have eight Pokemon on our bench. Um, so we are going to actually have room for our four Gengars, our Dodrios, our Unknowns, and our Zoroarks, um, basically with this way. And it helps us to maximize the damage output that Ticking Curse can do by simply having more Pokemon in play. Uh, our aspect of choice is Prime Catcher, just because it's a very good aggro card and this is a very aggro deck. And finally, our special energy of choice is Double Colorless Energy, as Zoroark's attack is too colorless. I just see that Prime Catcher and all I see is Kecleon Killer. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that is both of our decks, the basic idea behind each of them. If you are interested in looking at these deck lists, I strongly encourage you to watch the full video uh, as we play our, our best of one here. But 
we do have the deck list for both of these videos at the end. And after we've played a game, we're going to give our thoughts about how we might tweak these decks. All right, we're going to shuffle up and we'll be right back. I will go with Tails. To one. I'll go first. Mulligan. Great start. Good. Excellent start. Okay. I don't think there's ever any chance your deck takes a KO turn one, right? Probably safe to leave Toxel without a backup. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that seems risky still even then, because if I fail to get it next turn, I'm screwed. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't put the ball at all. The ball is really good on this deck. Yeah, it grabs you a lot. I don't know how I feel. Um, just real quick. <clears throat> okay. Um, just play it safe. Draw for turn. Okay. Power progressive. Seems good. Let's hit those Gengar. Gengar. And like sudden, a sudden uh, Garbotoxin activates. Where did that come from? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go back in. I got you. Ultra Mom. Oh, all four in discard turn one. Hoo hoo. Starting wow. the fourth king guard and Guzma. Kisu and Zorak. Mm -hmm. Right field. Thank you. Arnie. Yes. Bench. Um, that's for turn. Mm hmm. Mm. Um, I'm going to do another world gate. Mm -hmm. Um, pass. Turn the card I accidentally overdo earlier. Also, a time walk. I walk. Wow. That's cute. 
cute. Little Pokemon in here. Mm. All of them fairly important. <laughs> Um, we're going to do that. And time works, let's me put things in order. All the active. We're going to cosmic power for five, two, three, four, and Currently have four bench spaces. You right, four bench spaces left in here. Each buddy buddy puffin. The one's gonna get bolt slowly. Bring back in. Lapras or Guzma. Huh? Yeah, discard. Guzma and Rescue Stretcher to play Guzma Hollow. This is a very weird deck. <laughs> okay, so the ring was attached. That goes to hand. This comes to Claydol, which has been used this turn. Loud mix, just base damage is going to knock out Lapras because of weakness, so I don't even need to calculate that really. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight types on the bench at the moment. Sure. Draw for turn. Counter energy. Yep. Okay. Keep resting. Ball. I like it. I'm catcher tech man. Phantom Star. Brawl. <laughs> Do Duo. I love this. The base set Do Duo. Buddy Puffle. Mm -hmm. Or 
known P and the duo. Okay. And the are going to be fighting monsters this game, I think. I just don't know why it took so long to find it. Um, we're gonna put put a damage. I guess just on a do duo. Um, and then another world gate. One more. Swing for fifty. I haven't played a supporter, huh? You played, uh, did you play? Oh, it's Prime Catcher, right? Yeah. Interesting. Battle Pool Presser? <laughs> Wait, that's awesome. That's so funny, actually. Um,. What do I not need in this magic? These, I guess. Um, I'll discard Buddy Puff and Goose Hollow, of course. Okay. Um, we're gonna first Seeker for Chorus. Okay, so Shuffle draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Not anymore. In another world to gate a couple more times. <laughs> so that you can chorus right. And then chorus for 16. Yep, that's right. <laughs> both sides of it. Yep. And you were like, oh, don't play chorus. Yeah, I mean, just deck yourself, it's fine. I don't mind if you deck yourself out. You got the Gengar squad. The Gengar game? Yeah, Gengar, his pet birds, his rune symbols. And then the ghost that haunts him. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> Lapras does what now? Oh my god. Um this hand is so bloody. <laughs> uh What's funny is I can't play most of it. <laughs> um, let's see. How do I? How do I want to do this? I put a big parasol on this one. I don't think giggles. I don't think it matters, but it's not in this matchup now. Uh, and then taking curse for That's a super dead Cacleon. Uh, what is that? Three, six. Oh, just five, right? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, um, I think I just have to go heavy in the quails to get myself a float. I don't think I've ever chorused for Max. Yeah, well, you did now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cosmic power for five. Nice. cards cheap. <laughs> That's good. I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Switch that up, actually. Do. Okay. 
I'm gonna start organizing this somehow. <laughs> Anyway. Right. <laughs> uh, just some of the cards I drew were really funny. Uh, we're going to buy my puffin for. I didn't even process that when I was looking at it. Mm. You played your support already. Uh, I drew the entire rest of the Doduos and Dodrios in the deck. <laughs> it's funny. Just... It's so funny. His hand is so bizarrely strange. Attach return. Cosmic power number two for four. Okay. We should actually calculate damage now, right? You have it. I want to know what the number is, okay? It's <laughs> three... It's okay, ten. there's six here alone. This type's already covered by it, right? This type's already covered by it. This type's already covered. This one is not. It's six, so seven, six, eight, seven, eight, nine. Nine, I think, so is the answer. Three, two. Switch up. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put. Um, hmm. I need to maximize my chance of drawing into that. Just purchasing it for Culver's. <laughs> Culture Ball. Oh. Fail it. Oh, that's cool. Battle compressor. How many cards do you have in your deck now? Three, seven. I'm trying to find one particular card. Just by research, it's fine. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to find two particular cards, but... Research should guarantee them, right? Fall... Evolve. Zooming draw. Zooming draw. No, but that's useful. Hmm. They have six. Okay. You have 540 HP. I go down pretty quick. How much damage do you need on those Dodrios to knock me out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, five. Can you pull it off? Four damage. But let's you put two, right? Let's make one each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna each put two total. That one gets you to four. Or yeah, it's only one thirty, huh? Oh no, this is I don't know. Um Okay. Let me trying to figure out what I'm doing. Okay. Hurt me. Put put. Put put. That's too funny. I'm sorry. Rainbow energy. There you go. I'll do it. Yeah, you still use your switch. Versus Seeker for Guzma, Kegleon. Good. Okay. 
and then ballistic beak for 160. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, six, seven types. Seven is three. My brain has completed this late. That's two ten plus fifty basis two sixty. I need another type down. Easily. Illusion and sense. Unless it's still in the prizes, which I think it might be because I'm stupid. I don't think I pulled out the prizes yet. I did not. God damn it. Shit. Crap. If it weren't prized, though, that would have been the solution. God damn it. You would have forgot that. Ugh. I guess we're going to fail that because I can't do what I want to do with it. Because somebody had to chill out in the prices. I'm taking a cat nap. Mr. For game could have been in the goddamn deck, but no. Catch double rainbow. Uh, I guess we're going to Marty. Four and five. Luxury ball. What is the top card of the deck? Naturally. Draw. Zooming draw. Mm -hmm. Special search. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> was so good for that deck. Mm -hmm. Even in turn one. I do wonder how that deck would fare against Ability Lock, though. Mm -hmm. Or Dreamer. Mm -hmm. Windstorm. Your foot stone. And when you know this too. Okay. 
I'm going down to five. Let's do one, two. BCE, and then taking curse from okay. Let's see if I can do this off still. Probably not with that. Um, da, 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 da. Cosmic for thought. I thought it through. One, two, three, four, and five. No shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, so two hundred. Good. Draw. Mm -hmm. It has to be actually minus ten because of the blue and blue. So uh, nineteen. So uh, one ninety. Right. Yes. Truth turn. Um, zooming draw. Rescue stretcher. Mm -hmm. Is it free to go? Do it again. Do me draw. Mm -hmm. Next card? No. It's the same card I already have. Ah. Just gonna go some money. You're just gonna lose on me like a bastard. No, I, I'm not Ryan. Okay. 
Let me check with the unknown. <laughs> um, I'm not here. Sure. Me looking at the young guard as if it has a decent attack, it does not. No, it's terrible. Why no? Okay. Yeah, good, huh? Oh, did I end of Put, put. <laughs> never, that's never going to not be funny. It was pretty funny. Um, yeah, I guess if you just have it, you have it. Three. And then Ballistic Peak for 150. Or two, well, it's 160. One, yeah. 160, but yeah. I was priced. I think for a lot. It's been a Okay. Hmm. Anybody puffing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got through already, actually. I shouldn't have put my tops on. I'm an idiot. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. And I'm gonna uh, cosmic for six. This doesn't feel like an even price game. <laughs> it's been fairly even. I don't like it. Here's the thing. If I hadn't just thrown, I would have yeah, now. Yeah, I, I was looking like... <laughs> because I do have game if I hadn't done what I yeah, did. Yeah, the Guzma, you don't have a way to switch back. I mean, you probably don't run the second foot, so... I don't. And I've already attached return. I think I just lose because I threw. You could always leer. <laughs> and just wait for you to have the Guzma. The problem is if I do that, then I have like jack squat too, which is also a problem. Ugh. I'm so stupid. I don't think there's anyone I can fix it either. Because it would have just been prowl. It would have been Prowl for Versus Seeker. And that would have been game. Did you draw into one? No. Oh, well. Wow. I've had game multiple times in hand and I got hit with issues. We'll go for it, I guess. Oh, I don't know what it's computer search. With no discard on evolution. Hmm. Pastor was prized too. And you have an extra Titan. Yep, that's what I needed earlier when I needed to mm -hmm. get the and Pastor was prized. You think it was right to keep going after Kick Leon? No, I don't think so. No. Um, it wasn't early on. It wasn't necessary because Skyfield let me have whatever I wanted anyway. Yeah, I kept digging for one storm and I whiffed it off the chorus and couldn't find it off any of the zooming draws, which is what was frustrating me. And then he marnied me into it, and I was like, okay, I can finally do things. If I could have helped it, I probably wouldn't have played Skyfield at all. And then I guess I Guzma up your your Hussein's work. Okay. Do. Green, why don't you have free retreat? Could you imagine? Four cards left in my deck. <laughs> None of them matter because you're going to get game anyway. 
Somebody through. It has a snipe on. Special charge, shuffling back in react energy. Just mm -hmm. react. Just the react. Mm -hmm. Oh, it says two. I have to do another one, don't I? Shoot. There's no two in there. I have to no. do it. Is there anything else that's not awful? Nope. <clears throat> what did you shuffle? The double, the rainbow. double rainbow and the. the... Gotcha. Okay, there you go. The one I originally intended to shuffle. I guess the question is, is it worth even trying to put another toxicity toxicity into play? Is guess for nothing else, at least as a type, right? Let's do. Okay. Um, yeah, I knew that was coming. Dry field. Ditto prism. Versus here. <laughs> Goose my little pull talks. Yep. Electricity. That's it. There's nothing I can do now. Alright, so his students are to be star. How do you feel? What what would you change, if anything? Um I don't know. I like the list. I I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if I have the like benching of this deck down yet, but I, I like the list. It's pretty consistent. After start is always fun. Yeah, that hurts you pretty bad. Um, I don't know. I like it. I, I, I've been thinking that I want a second rainbow for the deck, because Dodrio is just a really solid attacker. But I just can't find the space or justify it, honestly. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at over here with space. Um, so for the Toxtricity deck, honestly, the pilot was the problem. I think the deck she was fine, other than Prize and Persia. Yeah, it, it, the pilot was 100% the problem. I don't know. I thought the deck ran pretty well. It did run really well, actually. Uh, honestly, I was kind of surprised, frankly. <laughs> uh, Skyfield might be Skyfield. a better stadium. Yeah, Skyfield helped you a lot. Skyfield might actually generally be a better stadium than... Because, uh, yeah, it helps you get around if they just keep bossing it. Like well, so I'm, running, I'm running Sky Pillar and Thunder Mountain. I think you kind of have to do both of those. But yeah, I do. You definitely do take advantage of your opponent's Skyfield. Yeah, I mean, if I get Kecleon out, it's not that big a deal. Yeah. But not having to get Kecleon cut, because like, the deck runs so many different types of Pokemon, that even without Kecleon in play, if, especially if Skyfield is in play, like, it still hits numbers pretty easily. Because mm -hmm. um, what, at max, with, with five, Yellow, it's 310? Is that what it caps at? Or no? With five bench. Without Kecleon? With, with, with all your types, that's the six on Kecleon, the two so on nine, 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 eight, types. nine... Fairy and then colorless is 10. So you can swing for 350, 340 after the double ring. It's a lot of damage. It hits really hard. It KOs everything that doesn't have an HP buff. So or damage reduction. Yeah. yeah, Prowl being prized was really bad. That yeah, cost me game tell. multiple times. I could tell. And then that I know you did murdered me. Yeah, I knew I had to draw into get, get it going. Because I, I had game in hand then too. So that I know was very well timed. Mm hmm. Yeah. Muscle band was really not relevant in this game. It had to be. I too don't long. know if it's relevant. Period. Muscle band. Like I would rather just have a sky. Field. I mean, to be fair, it would have mattered because you were saying that you were swinging for two sixty or two fifty at some point against the Sorak, so it would have fixed that. But that was caused by the Skyfield being gone, basically. Yeah, but like that's what that. Was. And the I have to have rainbow, at that point. You're you're definitely right when the double rainbow just kind of messed. Up. The meowth is extremely good. The Persian is very good. Uh, if I had room for a shit, that 
Honestly, the muscle band. Maybe I give up the muscle band for a second person. You think so? Honestly, that would be so much goddamn better. The only thing is, you're running two meops, right? Yeah. Then you lose the darkness still types. Right. Well, wait, the thing is, I don't know that you necessarily evolve both of them, but it helps against surprising. It helps just in case you did have to discard one. That's true. I think it's just good redundancy, really. That Persian is so good. I, I can't not have it. Like, literally, if, if this had been a second Persian, I, I would have had a game. Well, I know I wouldn't because I threw it in the price because I knew it wasn't relevant to this game match, but I probably wouldn't have done that if it were Persian. The deck runs pretty well again. The problem was really the pilot in this case. Uh, I let the deck down, not the deck letting me down. I think I think the biggest change I would make though is I think I would think I would still cut the muscle band. I don't feel like it's real. I would rather would rather just use a second prowl, I think. Yeah, hundred percent muscle band goes. I calculated when I was calculating the possible math for this deck, I was calculating it with only the basic energy types, not with colorless in mind, which gives me the extra damage that just makes muscle yeah, band useless. One thing you do have to remember though is when Kekthanos they reacted so long. True, but it's still six types. Yeah, you, you have to, once you put the Persian, though, you have like to. Like I said, it's still perfectly doable. I think I think I would rather have, I 100% would rather have a second Persian than the Muscle Band. That's the only real change I think I would make. I think otherwise, uh, just a better pilot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The tech ran great, honestly. Other than me throwing it, it ran really well. I'm impressed with it. So yeah, that is it for Eternal Monday. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you made it this far in the video, let us know uh, by by typing Persian in the comments, because trust me, that Persian would have saved the day several times. Anyway, that's all for today. We will see you in the next one.